Hi, my name is Brad Pollard. I'm VP of Sales with Southwire Company over our factory automation product line. That encompasses our variable frequency drive cables as well. And I'm here to talk about properly terminating your VFD cables in the field. A couple of questions I get quite often are, first off, how do I properly terminate the shield in a VFD cable and why do I properly, why do I need to terminate the shield of a VFD cable? Well, first off, the why. Basically, in a variable frequency drive application, you have a skin effect. At high, at high frequencies, current travels down on the outer layers of the conductor. That's one of the benefits you get from a BFD cable is it will catch that current and you can return the current through the grounding structure back to its source, which is the VFD. So in this case, Southwire offers a couple of different options. This is the how. We have a termination kit, and that's this right here. And basically what this is, is a braid, a braid, it's a ground strap with a constant force spring. And it comes in, with instructions on how to properly do this in the field. We size this to the proper size of the cable. So we have four different SKUs that range in from 16 gauge all the way to size 777 for BFD cable. And we do stock this and we sell it along with our cable. Now here is a properly installed termination kit. So it's wrapped 360 degrees around that shield under, underneath the electrical tape, and it's tied into the grounding system at the motor side. That's an actually in, actual in the field installation, but don't get thrown off by it saying low voltage VFD cable. This termination kit will work with any cable that's 2KV and below that we offer for our VFD constructions unarmored. So with that said, please uh, contact us with any questions that you may have on this at factoryautomation at southwire.com. On the other side, we also have another option for VFD cable terminations. If you're actually grounding it at a panel, you may choose to use a gland to terminate and ground that shield properly. And this is our, our option. Southwire offers a gland. It basically has fingers inside of this gland that as you clamp it down into that panel, it wraps itself all the way around the shield and then it will return the current through the panel and that's your grounding system. So you can use the termination kit at the motor side and the drive side, or typically we see the termination kit at the motor side, and then you have the option of using the EMC ground at the panel side if you are grounding through your panel. So these are our options. We wanna be a total solutions provider. There are other options, there are other ways to do it, but we feel that we are offering a solution that improves the process and makes it easy for our customers to install these cables properly. Again, if you have any questions, please contact us at any time at factoryautomation.southwire.com. Thank you very much.